Hello once again. This is the last MATLAB activity that I'll be recording for class 12. It is the MATLAB activity number 27 in your MATLAB manual, NCRT. It is the computation of conditional probability. Let us see the objective. It is to extend the computation of conditional probability of a given event A when an event B has already occurred to an example of throwing a pair of dice. What all do we need? The material required, colored sheet, a pair of dice, pen or a pencil, and a ruler, and of course an editor. So that's all that we require. Let us go to the method of construction. An easy activity, I make a square and divide it into 36 unit squares of size, one centimeter each. So instead, what you can do is, the easier way would be you take a sheet of the mathematics notebook, it's the squared sheet, or you can take a graph sheet also if you want to, and cut it uh, into six by six. So that way is what you're going to get is you will be getting directly a sheet with the complete table drawn. And I'll write the numbers of, I'll write the pair of numbers as shown in the figure. So this is what I want to make. I want to make one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, three, one, two, three, six, four, one, two, four, six, five, one, two, five, six, and six, one, two, six, six. Now, this is what, if you can clearly see, this is the outcomes when two dice are thrown, isn't it? Let us see the demonstration now. Uh, figure 27. Now, this is the figure 27 that you're going to make. The table uh, gives all the possible outcomes of the given experiment. Hence, it represents the sample space of the experiment. Now, suppose we have to find out the conditional probability of an event A if an event B has already occurred. Now, A and B are what? A is the event, a sum of 10 on both the dice. So what can the outcomes be? 5, 5, 4, 6, and 6, 4. In the sample space that I have, let me shade the um, outcomes of A, which are giving the sum of uh, 10 on both the dice in blue color. So this is what I have colored. You can see 4, 6, 5, 5, and 6, 4. Let me color the outcomes of B in red or pink color, which are giving me a doublet. So outcomes of B were getting a doublet. So I have colored them. Now, what is the next thing I need to do? Uh, if I want to find out the conditional probability, so how will I do that? I will just take up both the things together. This was representing the event A, and this is representing the event B, right? Now, let me just uh, show you that this is how one of my students has done this. Uh, complete colored uh, blocks were made, and the numbers were written on it. Uh, in blue color, the outcomes of A have been filled out, and the... In red color, the outcomes favorable to B have been filled out. Now, what do I get um, from the figure? This is the figure 27 that you'll be making. And from this, the number of outcomes favorable to A is how much? Three. Clearly, one, two, and three. Exactly same way, the number of outcomes favorable to B is how much? One, two, three, four, five, and six, the ones that were in red color. And I can say that the number of outcomes favorable to A intersection B, common one, is how much? It's only one. This is a doublet also, and this is giving me the sum of 10 also. The number of outcomes favorable to A intersection B is 1, right? So, right, P, B is how much? 6 out of 36, that is 1 by 6. Probability of getting A intersection B, that means the sum of the numbers in both the die is 10, and it is a doublet also, that is 1 upon 36. The conditional probability is what? It is P of intersection B upon P into B. So 1 by 36 upon 1 by 6, which comes out to be 1 by 6. So this is what is all as a demonstration. I will now come to the observation. So the set of blanks are there and I'll have you to fill them up using this, whatever we have discussed. The outcomes favorable to A are what? Um, if you remember, what was A? A was when the sum of the Numbers on both dice is coming out to be 10. So I told you that the outcomes are what? The outcomes are 4, 6, 5, 5, and 6, 4. So N of A can be written as 3. What about the outcomes favorable to B? B was what? The event of getting a doublet. Event of getting a doublet means so the outcomes favorable to B can be uh, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6. So N of B is equal to 6. So outcomes favorable to A intersection B are 5 comma 5 and obviously n of a intersection b the cardinal number is how much it is coming out to be 1. So p of a intersection b is how much? 1 out of 36. 
the so, conditional probability comes out to be, if you remember, it was uh, the probability of A intersection B upon probability of getting B. That means P A intersection B upon P of B. So, which comes out to be 1 by 36 divided by 1 by 6, which is equal to 1 by 6. So, this is all for the observation. I come to the application now. Easy activity. This activity is helpful in understanding the concept of conditional probability, which is further used in the Bayes theorem. Now, I hope all the activities for class uh, 12 that I have discussed, that I have uh, given to you, they're all clear to you. And uh, if you like them, ensure that you subscribe to my channel uh, for more of such activities. I'm sure you're going to find them helpful. Thank you so much.